I was sitting in a base medrash in Lakewood, and a fellow who I'm remotely familiar with approached me, he seemed to be very befuddled and very downcast. And I said to him, listen, I want to give you a chizik story. I just read a story. My brother's a prolific writer, Rabbi Ruven Schmelzer, and he documents the following story. Maybe you'll get some chizik. A lady who had unfortunately married a Eina Yehudi, her marriage was broken and she wanted to come back to the fold. And she came crying to her Bianca Galinsky and she said, listen, I made the mistake of marrying an Eina Yehudi and I had a child. That child is halachically a Yid. But unfortunately, he met a girl, an Eina Yehudi, and he's on the cusp of marrying her. Please, please, I want to spare my family. I finally got out of this marriage, and I don't want him to fall into the same trap that I did. Rabbi meets with the young man, and he tells him the following. Did you ever hear of the Chafetz Chaim? He says, of course. He says, do you know that the Chafetz Chaim married a non-Jewish girl? And the fellow looks at him aghast. The Chafetz Chaim? He says, yes, the Chafetz Chaim himself, Bikfoy Du Ba'atzmoy, married an Eino Yehudi. He says, that can't be. Such a Helig and a Shoma, the Chafetz Chaim, the God of Ador, the Manig Ador. How could that be? Rabbi Yankov Galinsky turns to him and says, Do you know that you have the same Neshama as the Chafetz Chaim? And if you can't believe that the Chafetz Chaim would have married an Eino Yehudi, it cannot be that you would do that. And the boy walked away and he broke the Shidduch. This is the story that I shared with this young man who seemed to be in a very downcast mood. A few weeks later, I was davening in a base medrash in Lakewood Mincha, and somebody was standing near me. I hadn't recognized him. And he says, can I speak to you, Rabbi Schmelzer? Do you remember I came to you a few weeks ago? I was so down and out. I'm a young man with a young family crammed into a two-bedroom apartment. It's impossible to live. I was looking to buy a house. And you know what the housing situation is in Lakewood to buy? I was totally outpriced from the market. I was bidding for a house and they outbid me and the price went way above. Right after I finished speaking to you, I said to myself, if that young man who was about to marry an Eina Yehudi understood that he has the same Kedushas Neshama as the Chafetz Chaim, how about me? And I walked away and I was macabre on myself. I went out to the workforce recently and I work in a building which is full of different men and women and it's a very, very big social scene. And I was macabre on myself. I am an Ashoma like the Chofetz Chaim. I am not going to use the main entrance of the building. I will only walk in through the side entrance where I do not have to pass by the people and I don't have to be involved socially and I could go directly to my office. And I was macabre that on myself that same evening. I got a phone call from that real estate agent and he told me, I want you to know that the person who bid for that house, who outbid you, who outpriced it, was Chayzer. He lost it. He cannot do it. He didn't have the mortgage. And they came back to me and they told me, you can have the house. But not only could you have the house, you could have the house at the price that you originally bid for it. And I said to myself, I have to share this story with you. Because everybody has to know that I, you, we are all a piece of neshama, the nishma selakami mal from tachas kisei hakovid. We all have that intrinsic kedusha, and all we have to do is be aware of it. So let's all become aware of who we really are, and if we know who we are, we will do what we're supposed to, and it will bring us tremendous shefa, bracha, v'hatzlocha.